And the award for least self-aware YouTubers goes to Jake Paul. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no, that was last year. I can't. Oh, I can't. Let me put my readers on. I can't really see very well. The Dubry Brothers. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new thumb drive full of Ed Sheeran fan cams. My name is Leon Lush. Really a treat to have you here. I do appreciate your time. Let me give you the timeline of, of how we got to where we are right now. So I finished editing this video. I hit export. I hop on YouTube and see that Cody, just like 40 minutes ago, had uploaded his response to this. But just bear that in mind because there's one or two inconsistencies with what I say because I hadn't seen his response yet because he hadn't made it at the time of me recording. Um, but that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. If you've been here a while, you probably noticed I took an extended holiday break. Just a couple of weeks to be with friends, family, recharge, get ready to come back and uppercut 2020 right in the nuts. Let's dance. A prophylactic measure, really, to try and help swerve the crippling depression that seems to plague 90% of YouTubers that have been doing it for any length of time. You are not depressed. Oh, snap. Anyways, I'm on YouTube yesterday. I'm researching for my next video and up in my recommended pops, none other than Maddie in smokes. So I clicked the video because <laughs> Maddie smokes. And come to find out over a week ago, the Dobre brothers had released a video calling out Cody and calling him a cyber bully, challenging him to a boxing match. Just an absolute disaster. But I was so balls deep in vacation mode, I hadn't heard about it until just yesterday. So do you guys remember seven or eight months ago when Jake Paul dedicated a whole vlog to secretly rolling up on Cody when he was at a barbershop and confronting him for bullying kids? There's a douchebag named Cody Ko and we are about to f his life up. <laughs> Is that a good intro? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> it was the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my life. And really all Jake did in the process was expose himself as someone that was tragically unself-aware and completely idiotic and in the process simultaneously confirming that, yes, in fact, Cody Ko is very funny. Hatred inside. I didn't make a video at that time, but the entire internet basically came to Cody's defense, handed Jake a big fat L, and he moseyed on his way, just continuing on with his life void of any sort of self-awareness or comedic ability. So fast forward to a week ago, and the Dobre brothers were like, hey, you know what? We're also unfunny like Jake, live in a bubble, and lack any sort of self-awareness. Let's do the same thing! Welcome back to the Doe Brothers channel, everyone. As you can tell from the title, we have an important message to tell you guys and direct it to someone. I challenge Cody Ko, cyberbully, to a boxing match. Yeah, yeah, that does sound pretty important. But before we do all that, we just want to let you know what we're all about, if you haven't noticed already, and what we stand for. Well, this ought to be good. I'm Cyrus. I'm hey, Darius, Cyrus. I'm Lucas, oh. and I'm Marcus. Hey guys. We are the Dover Brothers, oh. and we love spreading positivity, <laughs> making fun videos for our fans, <laughs> and honestly, we just show people what a good time we have on an everyday basis. Oh God. I'm oh, sorry, I, I have a, a bit of a visceral reaction when I hear the mantra spread positivity, you know. In and of itself, it's a great idea, but it's been adopted as the new religion for these vanilla cookie cutter YouTubers and it's overused to the point where it's about to overtake thoughts and prayers pretty soon. What does that even mean really? It's just vague and kind of self-righteous. If you ask me to define it, I'd say one of the best ways you can spread positivity, through the internet at least, is by making other people laugh and feel good. Which Cody Ko just happens to be a master of. So if this was a competition of positivity spreading, unfortunately Dobre Bros, Cody's got you beat about 10,000 to one. Actually, that's a little bit generous. It's probably more like 250,000 to one. We've worked on many projects that involve anti-bullying, cyberbullying, giving attention to what cyberbullying is and the, the facts about it, how many kids are getting cyberbullied daily. The numbers are just crazy, thousands and thousands, and we're totally against that and we do our best to make a change. You know, credit where it's due. In 2018, they did create the smash hit, an anti-bullying ballad, Stop That. Bully who you want, better stop that. Making people sad, you can stop that. Giving people love, don't stop that. Taking people's lives, you can stop that. Do what you love. Don't let anybody tell you different. And from what I understand, for every view that that video gets somewhere in the world, a bully poops in his pants. As of today, that's 38 and a half million pants filled with poop. Oh my. Take that, bullies. We're there for people like that because we want to help them. And we try our best to put a smile on their face through our videos. Spreading positivity, baby. So grateful for all of you fans that continue to support us. The reason why we create videos and create our content. We put smiles on you guys' faces. That's our main goal here. It has nothing to do with the tens of millions of dollars we've made that have afforded us this extravagant lifestyle. It's just, it's just to put a smile on your face like we did at our last meet and greet. <laughs> oh man, that video never gets old. Right, we're just gonna cut to the chase. Um, 
all of us are being bullied by this kid named Cody Ko. Um, really? Like he's just a bad person. Yeah, this kid is honestly annoying. Like, first off, I'm just gonna be straight up. I love all of you guys out there watching. Our viewers are incredible. Um, our like the parents of our fans are also amazing. You guys are all amazing out there. Facts, bro. Listen, same goes for you guys too. All my viewers out there that are watching this, your parents too. You guys are amazing legends. For everybody else, friggin' bullies. There's this kid, Cody Ko. He's a he's a small YouTuber who we came across. Oh, a small YouTuber, he called him. Oh my God, Darius. He just sent Cody to the shadow realm. Someone get the EKG and bring this man back to life. <laughs> <laughs> who apparently is making a really big living making fun of us, me, my brothers, my whole family. And many other people out there too. And many other me. creators out there. You see, this is where the nuance gets lost. He's not making fun of you. He's criticizing the absurd nonsense you do in your videos and making it funny in the process. In fact, I would go as far as to say that he's doing you a favor by taking your content, which is in large part unwatchable, in making it funny. I'm not gonna put any of his content up here on our screen because, first off, it doesn't deserve to be on this channel. That's a smart move. Honestly, I mean, you've almost reached 10 million subs without having a single funny segment on your channel. You don't wanna switch up now. He's making fun of kids, he's making fun of, like I said, everyone, my whole family, people he doesn't know, people who he's never met. Um, and we don't really vibe with that. Okay, I kinda get why they're upset. I mean, they went as far as to do a vibe check and the results came back and they weren't vibing with that? Yeah, you have to speak up at that point. He doesn't even deserve one subscriber for what he's doing. We could have claimed all those videos if we wanted because he's used our content, but we were like, you know what? Fair use, no? Whatever. Let's okay, let's, never mind. Whatever, let's let this little kid do his thing and um, be the bigger people. We're gonna it. handle it a different way. This is how we're gonna handle it, all right? We have a message for you. Hey, little kid. Marcus and Darius have a message for you, so listen up. So it was around this point I started calling Cyrus Marcus for the remainder of the video because all of their names end with is. It's kind of confusing, what can I say? You talk big, you pick on people for your career and to make money, and it's sad that people get entertained by watching you. <laughs> oh yeah, I much prefer people that are entertained by watching videos like my wife meets my ex-girlfriend and is it real or chocolate? But let's see if you can walk the talk. I challenge you to a boxing match. We're gonna settle this through sport. Me versus you, I don't care what weight class, no headgear, and I'm gonna give meaning to your last name, KO, because that's what I'm gonna do to you for disrespecting me. No, bro, come on, dude! You didn't have to do him like that, dude, bro! I know you don't like Cody, but how are you gonna end his career like that? Give meaning to your last name, because it's KO. Holy fuck! How are you gonna box a dead person, Marcus? Calm down, bro! Jesus! And what was all that spreading positivity talk from like 90 seconds ago? Now you wanna knock this dude out for cracking a couple of jokes about you? Hold on a second. I just did a vibe check, and that feels a lot like spreading negativity to me. And I'm fighting you on behalf of all the people that you cyber bully. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Maddie Smokes, Dre Drexler, GT Dave, Kombucha King, they're all gonna be ringside cheering on the Dobe bros for sure. In reality, my video was actually funny as fuck, in my opinion. It was probably like one of the funnier videos I've seen on YouTube recently. The craziest part is that once people saw that I thought it was funny, I got this like stream of reach outs directly on Instagram. Like, Yo, I love you. I didn't know what kombucha was, but I love that you fucking think this is funny. People <laughs> need more of a sense of humor. Guys, this is a boxing match. This is legal. Oh, God, yeah, it's obviously, it's legal. I'm an idiot, so it's we're back to spreading positivity now because it's legal. I get it. If I were you, I would reply within the next 24 hours, or you're just, honestly, all talk. <laughs> Yo, he did not just drop a 24-hour ultimatum on him. Oh, it is getting nasty out here. Y'all keep memeing about World War III on Twitter. I'm, I'm protecting myself from the real war going on. Like we said, we're going to settle this through legal sport of boxing, through sport. Uh, we're not responding with any bullying or anything negative in return. Calls him a little boy, says he shouldn't make money for being good at his job and seething over how badly he wants to knock him out. Call me old-fashioned, but that kind of sounds like negativity to me. And you know what? I would hate to see the Dobre brothers, who are devout followers of this new social media religion called spreading positivity. I don't want to see him go down a dark path and start spreading negativity, and I feel like they're, they're, they're flirting with the flames right now. I mean, when it comes to positivity, their spreading skills are unmatched. Crashing supercars on purpose, making fake pranks about infidelity, they are the light of YouTube, and I would hate to see Cody Ko extinguish that. It's not a scrap fight, it's not a street fight, all right? You should never, ever respond to bullying or anything through violence. 
Violence is not the key to anything. Uh, debatable. No more waiting behind your computer. I'm waiting for your response. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Like, he's probably not gonna respond, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Marcus with the mic drop and the exit stage left for dramatic punctuation. I wonder if he wrote that in the script previous to recording. Killed it. He doesn't really need to respond. You guys have already made yourselves look stupid enough just by uploading this video. And if I may speak to the nuance once more, he's not making fun of you. He's simply criticizing, making jokes about the absolutely absurd shit you upload to the internet in order to make millions of dollars. Again, the stuff that you willingly record yourself doing and then put on the internet purposely for millions of people to see, he cracks a few jokes about it. So stop being such pussies, learn to laugh at yourself a bit, hand to God, you'd feel better for it, and then you can go back to full-time positivity spreading and everybody's happy. And you see, I wouldn't normally call someone a pussy because it's borderline, you know, especially in today's climate, but I feel like you've incorrectly used the word bully so many times in this video, I needed to give you a little bit of perspective. So if this is like the bullying scale here, this is actual bullying with malicious intent, then we have like making an edgy joke at someone's expense and then maybe calling someone a pussy is right around this area. And then over here off the screen is where Cody Co would live. Again, it was just an example. So Susan, if you're watching this, go easy on your boy. I was just trying to take advantage of what I thought was a teachable moment. I mean, I really hope to see you get knocked out, bro, because you really <laughs> do deserve it. Spreading on a thick coat of that positivity, isn't he? We have said nothing wrong about this kid. I really hope to see you get knocked out. You're still wasting your time on this guy? Yeah, I'm just- Hey, Marcus I'm is so back. I'm annoyed by this kid, bro, and like just- what? Every time What's... I see his face, like, it, oh, I just don't want to like, I don't want to see his face. All right, bro. I can take care of that if you accept this fight. Let's Honestly. just get on with our day and do what we do. And so many people too are just- <laughs> Marcus comes back in, chest all puffed up, and he's acting harder than a calculus pop quiz. It's incredible. I can take care of that if you accept this fight. Let's Honestly. just get on with our day and do what we do. You don't want to see his face no more? All right, bro. I'll take care of that for you. I'm going to turn that face into paste. Let's just get on with our day and do what we do. You know, you heard that he made fun- He made a joke about how I purposely crashed my supercar in that video. Yeah, nobody makes a joke about Marcus's supercars. Motherfucker, he better, he might, he is on some shit. I'm about to turn this bitch into something else. He ain't no, he ain't no idea what's coming for him. The other sweet irony is Marcus comes back in, he's like, yo, you still wasting time on this dude? <laughs> As if training for a boxing match doesn't take any investment of time. You smart. You very smart. And so many people too are just like, yo, who is this kid and why is he even... How is he even still on YouTube? That is a bold faced lie. Nobody says that. That's what we do. So let's just keep doing it. Hey, I'll be waiting all day. Let us know. That's all right. right. Peace out. Let's I'm see go if he responds, though. Let's see if this mm. kid is all talk. Let's I'm see done wasting my time on this guy, man. <sighs> yeah, that ending was uncomfortable levels of cringe. But it wouldn't be a proper call out video if you didn't have a plug for your shitty app at the end. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You're playing ball. Playing ball. Like Dobre Duck. Like Dobre Duck. Dobre Duck. Ever go download our new game, Dobre Duck. Go download it right now, Dobre Duck. Classic Dobre Brothers. Keep spreading love and positivity. I, I really hope to see you get knocked out, bro, because you really do deserve <laughs> it. So the Dobre Bros with a swing and a miss, just throwing the term bullying around as a blanket term to describe anyone that they just personally don't like. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm looking through some of these comments and even the Dobre Brothers fans are like, eh, I don't think this is it. They're too sensitive. This is the best way to get flamed. Be careful. This is actually so hilarious. The Dobre Brothers must be new to YouTube. We're all about spreading positivity, publicly threatens another creator. You guys are so sensitive. I have a friend who was actually cyberbullied in This Ain't It, Chief. And the comments go on and on. It's it's pretty hilarious. Anyways, I high key expect Cody not to respond at all. He has no incentive to. The dude's career as a comedian is on steroids. What's he gonna put that on pause so he can train for months to box Marcus Dobre? <laughs> I think however you look at it, this was a self-own by the Dobre brothers. So thank you guys. I'm curious to know what you think. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. And if you could do me one favor and pull down your pants and spread some positivity all over that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. You, you, you.